So do you have a ton of attacks that you're not commenting about, that you're talking about? We'll that get there. Are, that affects... Let's, let's be methodical. First... You're not even talking about the VAT and fuel we that affects... We'll get to that <laughs> First of all, housing levy, no okay, cap, but you can yeah. recoup, so, so, you, you so, can so, withdraw so, your money, uh, or so, you can get a house. Yes. What so, has changed? So, so let's get there. The, the initial provision, uh, as contained on the bill, said that this will come into effect after the passing of regulations. And how those regulations oversaw this was that, for example, you'll get your money after seven years. Mm -hmm. And Kenyans were asking, uh, am I sure I'm going to get my money after seven years? Mm -hmm. Kenyans were, in fact, Kenyans call it a tax. Uh, so what we have done on this, we have done, we have proposed, and, 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 the, and, the, and the State Department of Housing is, is, is done with this and they're going to publish it as soon as, um, um, I think, the, the PS was giving us a commitment on Friday, that the contributions you make into the fund become a rebate when you actually get to own a house. So if, for example, I decide to buy a house in Parklands or in whichever scheme that comes around my area, then the contributions that I've made towards the fund, then I use them to buy that house, which was not even clear in the previous amendments. So these are houses in the affordable housing scheme or any other house? In fact, we, it's about any, the, the, okay, the houses done by this fund, when I go to buy that house, I can use my contribution as a rebate towards buying that house. Uh -huh. Who qualifies? Anybody who has contributed towards it. So there's no longer the offer that you will receive back your money after seven years or at retirement or whatever? Again, uh, Sam, when we listen to the public, they were saying they don't want that. So you give it and it's gone? It's a tax. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and some, let me give an ex let me give a different example. Um, let me give an example. You, Makali Muru and I, uh, are patrons mm -hmm. to NGCDF funds, where people qualify for bursaries and scholarships. There's actually a scholarship scheme for the national government. There is actually a, like for example, the the, the, the Linda Bama program. There is the was a um, program that gives all the old people 3,000 shillings a month, you know, when they retire. Where does that money come from? When we decide that Mandela County is getting this equalization fund worth this much more than Nakuru County, where is that money coming from? It's coming from taxes that have been contributed from by yourself. So in short, what you're telling me, Horabo Kimani Kure, is that uh, the housing levy is no longer a levy, it's a tax, housing tax. Yes, that's what Kenya that's told the us. That's So you just call it housing tax? Yes. Your if, tax? We just, we're calling it a levy, we're enforcing it to making sure that it goes to building mm. hou affordable housing. But Kenyans told us. Who will implement those buildings? I mean, the, the building of this affordable housing now? Of course, this would be the State Department of, of, of Housing. But, 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 but some, not, remember we- Not private developers? The implementers, the, the implementers of the program is the Department of Housing. And this, again, uh, we listened to Kenyans. And Kenyans told us to our faces. And I sat there hours on end and told us, come on. In fact, if, 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 even our position called. Okay, that Korea, is that what they told you, really? Yes. Okay, okay, maybe that's what you had. <laughs> I have, I, you, remember I have 3,500 pages, 3,500 pages. <laughs> yeah, uh, Dr. 